Radio. It is now time for the world famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by O'Quinnan Associates, Murphy Builder Supply, Vans Barbecue, and First Southern Bank. Are you looking for an insurance company that you can call and talk to a live person? Are you looking for an insurance company where you can walk in and talk to an agent? Are you looking for an insurance company that offers multiple companies so they can try and get you the best rate? If you said yes to any of these, then you need to call or come by Oakwind and Associates Insurance Financial Services. We offer multiple companies so we can find the best fit for you. Give us a call at 385-1000 or stop by our office at 212 South First Street right here in Jessup. Since 1946, Murphy's Built for Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. When it comes to barbecue, Vans Barbecue and Jessup is the place to be. A small family-owned business located at 1876 on the Savannah Highway. Vans Barbecue has lunch and dinner specials. Stop by or call to make an order. The number to call, 427-3358. Vans Barbecue's new manager is Sarah Van. Vans Barbecue offers potato salad, coleslaw, baked beans, and don't forget their delicious mac and cheese. Also, check out their shrimp plates, the best in town. Yes, when it comes to the barbecue, head to Vans Barbecue, locally owned and operated. Stop by and tell them the big dog sent you. Once again, the number to order, 427-3358. Hi, I'm Raymond Brown. And I'm Mandy Yeomans. At First Southern Bank, our customers are like family. As a locally owned community bank, we're dedicated to helping our clients succeed. We have loans for every need, whether it's personal or business. We have lines of credit, auto loans, equipment loans, and of course, we offer mortgages. Stop by our bank or call us at 912-588-1010 and see how First Southern Bank can help you. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. World famous. The world famous Butch and Bob Show. World famous Butch and Bob Show, right here on WIFO, 105.5 FM in Jessup, Big Dog Country Radio. And Bob, how's it going this morning? It's good. It's going good? Yeah. All right. Glad to hear it. Eight days away from high school football. Can't Eight wait. days away. Bob's always counting down to the next football game or the next meal. Yeah. <laughs> it's Bob's life. <laughs> we have guests in here this morning here on the world famous Butch and Bob show. We'll get Bob to introduce our guest right now. We have some guests out in the green room. We got um, some folks in from the Chamber of Commerce out in the green room ready to come on the air in just a few minutes and talk about leadership. Wayne coming up, but right now we're going to talk volleyball. Is that Rob? All uh, right, Bob. Who do we have in here? We have to hit volleyball coach in Kayla Hobbs. How many years has it been for Wayne County Volleyball? We started volleyball in the 2016-2017 year, so we are in year seven or eight. Seven, I thought it was five, but it, it, it's seven or eight now, huh? Man, it time is. Flies, I know. It? We're, we're getting there. Getting yeah. up. Yeah. So, so when does the season start? I think the schedule says the 16th. They said they've got a scrimmage today. Is there a scrimmage yeah, today? We're not scrimmaging today. We are playing our first game. We're going over there to Pierce County. Um, we are playing on August 16th, and then we'll play again on the 18th, and our first home game will be August 23rd. Okay, so tell us about the team. i got a good group of experienced players coming back. Yes, sir. We're looking okay right now. Um, we, we do have a big senior class. We have senior Sophie Fender. Anna Harris and Carson Ward and Hannah Duke, they both, or all four of them, return to our varsity play this year. Um, we also have Kaylee Arnold, Claire Murray, Carly Keith, Ashley Johnson, and Isabella Godino um, rounding out our seniors. And, you know, we look we look for a lot from them. Um, um, we probably have six of those nine seniors have been with us since their freshman year so um they've been around the program they know what it takes they've um, gotten a lot of playing time over the last few years the last four ones have yes okay. um it, well they all have played all the way through um so they do have some experience we do have four that have a little more varsity experience than the others so it will be um you know it, it will be probably slow in the beginning getting some of these girls that have not had as much varsity experience because you, you we still will have um, four girls in our rotation that 
this will be their first year of full varsity. So um, I am expecting it to be a little slow in the beginning, but I do think that, you know, these girls r- work really hard. They really love the game. And when you have girls like that, it makes it easy. And they really, you know, they want to be a contender for region this year. So that's that's our goal. We want to, you know, we want to be competitive in the region tournament. Um maybe slip up and win it so they're working really hard it's gonna be your toughest competition this year so in our region um burke county is pretty good and islands high school in savannah is actually really good at volleyball so um i've always wondered what kind of drills do you do in volleyball practice we know football (laughs) you know we know baseball what what we do what what kind of drills do you do? You know, and there's just not just practicing back and forth across the net. But right. What kind of drills do you do? So essentially, there's six basic skills that you're working on in volleyball. Um, so drills that are first working on passing. You have to be able to pass the ball um, every time the ball comes over the net, and you have to be able to dig it, pass it, get it to a setter in order to get off a good hit. So we do a lot of passing drills of getting the ball to a setter. Um, obviously a lot of setting drills so we can get a good set to our hitter spike that thing uh, yep and then a lot of <laughs> spiking and hitting drills um, so that we can score okay so th- those are the type of drills you do when you say pass that means hit the ball to the next person how many times can you touch it when it's on your side of the net three times okay and we, right. we are we are trying to get a hit off every time that's our big goal this year is um in the past you know we've, we've tried to play it safe because we have the region last year with veterans and warner robbins they are extremely great volleyball schools they um up in north georgia they have a lot of the it's a travel just like there's you know the travel baseball and softball of Mm -hmm. south georgia the travel volleyball is very big in north georgia so um we're playing against girls that have been playing since they were six and seven years old on travel ball teams and um they're really good so in the past we've just trying to we've tried to recover you know taking hit after hit just trying Maybe not necessarily to score, but not to let the other team score because volleyball is a sport where every single mistake you make is a point for the other team. So hit it out of bounds, it's a point for the other team. So we have done a lot of that. So this year we are going to take a more aggressive standpoint on things and we're we're going to try to score a lot. We're going to try to, you know, make or miss. It it might cost us some, but we hope that if we do that enough leading into the region tournament that we'll, we'll be pretty good is it better to score by spiking the ball or is it better by positioning the ball to an open area when you hit it over the net um we will we will take either one but either one <laughs> yes yes sir, we will but um obviously we want to get the spike we want to we okay. want to try to hit try to get the kill um that's like a dunk in basketball everybody's yes. excited about <laughs> yes me too yeah so yeah that's, that's what we're aiming for okay bob you can also the basketball case there what's the Outlook for basketball. Basketball is going to be okay. We return. Um, we return Javia Fulmore. She actually got the nine one two Player of the Month for July uh, this this summer. Um, she works really hard. And then behind her, we have coming in Taylin Ward as a sophomore. Um, we're going to look for Taylin in our point guard position this year. So she has a, a big load on her. Um, we we think she's got it in her, and, and we're going we're going to push to see what we can get. Um, those two, you know, they're, they'll be leading our team. We also have some other seniors that are going to have some big roles for us, Janaya Smith, Arion Anderson. Um, they've been in our program for four years as well. And, you know, we just – it's going to take a lot of work. We, um, we, we don't have the amount of older, experienced girls that we've had in the past, but we do have a, a group of girls that worked really hard this summer. And by the end of the summer, we saw a lot of improvement. So we're going to keep working. Um, they're in the PE classes now with our volleyball and softball teams and hope that we can get enough skill stuff set in them by the time the region comes for that, we'll be ready. And all sports have off-season conditioning programs. Did both the volleyball team and basketball team have off-season conditioning programs? Or? Yes, sir. Um, volleyball and basketball both. We practice this summer. Volleyball team, we basketball team, we went to Georgia Southern. They had a three-day camp there and then – We also took the volleyball team this summer to Valdosta State, stayed overnight. Um, Girls got to experience some of the older-style dorm rooms with the community showers, and they were not excited about that, but it was a great experience for them. That's what we had. I know. We were at college (laughs) at the University of Georgia. No doubt. Russell Hall, Reed Hall. You you walk down the hallway. They experienced it. Um, (laughs) And then we actually have a girls' weight training 
and in the girls' weight training is our volleyball team, our girls' basketball team, and our softball team. So that's, that's tones those muscles so they can be stronger uh, with their muscles when they're you know moving the volleyball around, and then basketball. Of course, you know you need got to have strength for that. Yes, yeah, so we are bigger, faster, stronger right now. We're trying to get the girls to where their side to side movement picking up a little speed there, um, just overall agility, quickness on their feet, and getting gaining a little bit of muscle tone everywhere. And that first home volleyball game is going to be when now? August 23rd. And what time? The JV will start at 4 o'clock, and the varsity will have games at 5 and 7. And that's in the Benny Ratliff Arena, the, yes. uh, the gym there at the high school? Yes, and sir. is there a charge to get in? There is a charge to get in, and it will be on GoFan. Um, the school is migrating towards the, the GoFan tickets, but there will be – an option at the gate if they need to purchase tickets at the gate there will be um, a little kiosk style you know um, sign in thing to where they can buy tickets at the gate through gofan i'm thinking i think it's seven dollars um, so it, you cannot bring a five and two ones up there and walk in you've got to have some sort of debit or credit card is that right yes sir i think that if that's bit. really all you got i think they'll take it um especially these first couple games they are trying to move to a, a cashless system hmm. okay like we look times are changing <laughs> they are the volleyball season appreciate you coming in like i said uh, a lot of experience coming back like i said it's just you know, it's an exciting game to watch for sure i don't get like i said it always conflicts things with other sports it but does, i've been yes. to a few of them that the ones i've been to have been fun to watch and it's exciting sports so Yes, it is exciting. Um, the atmosphere and the energy in volleyball is very, very good. We have a great group of parents. They are eccentric. They, you know, they, they love watching their kids play, and we really do have a great group. And it, it really is fun to coach. What kind of uniforms do they wear in um, in volleyball? Do you have uh, different colors for in town, out of town? How does that work? No, it, actually, that's a that's a good question. We don't. We um, there's one set uniform. Our uniforms are black with gold and white lettering. Um, and we have the spandex shorts. Our, ours are long sleeve, um, which, you know, when we first started, I thought that was a weird thing yeah, to have. Yeah, long sleeve. But as we have progressed, um, 90% of the gyms that we go to, their air is on 66, and our, <laughs> it is freezing. So I have come to understand why, that, why, they're, why we have long sleeves. In fact, we've actually ordered team hoodies in August. That is um, amazing. Because why do they have them so? I guess that the girls won't get hot out there or something. I'm, why do you? I'm not sure. That's a lot of money to put it on 66. It should be oh. like 72. Oh, yeah. yes. Well, it is a home court advantage when you go to places like Warner Robins and Veterans because all the parents could think about was getting out of there because it was so cold. My girls were freezing. Um, you know how much money it costs to put a, a big gym down to 60 something degrees. Should be about seventy two. Yeah, well, I don't think they're worried about it because they, yeah, they, <laughs> they, 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 they don't pay for it out yeah, of their pockets. They, so they, they got plenty of money in Warner Robins. Yeah, they were that. not worried. We're not worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, just, I just, you know, I, I think that from a business owner standpoint, oh, you know, yes. that costs a lot of money to put mm-hmm. something down to sixty seven degrees. You know, uh, just thinking for you know taxpayers' money there. Uh, but we wish the volleyball team the best this season. And your, you say your first to home is on the twenty third, but you have a match before that. Is that right? Yes, yeah, so we go to Pierce County on the 16th and we'll play Pierce and we'll actually play West Lawrence so the volleyball region is a little bit different than the other regions um, for sports so volleyball plays an area they don't really play a region so all of the teams that are in our region are also um, in our region for volleyball however West Lawrence is also in our volleyball region so there's a volleyball region that's yes, a little bit the, different than the football or basketball yes they call region. it they call it area um, area. And it adds West Lawrence in there. I'm not really sure. I'm assuming that because of the area that West Lawrence would have played in the travel was too far. Mm-hmm. So they had pulled West Lawrence in with us. So okay. um, they're typically pretty good at at their sports. Um, mm-hmm. They have up and down years. but um, That's Dublin, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm Dublin there. Kayla Hobbs, volleyball coach in here this morning talking about the upcoming season. We wish you all the best. If you'll give, give, be able to get into the playoffs and, and, and do very well this year with the girls. Well, thank you very much. And thank you so much for the donut hole. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you can come on anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I Anything else, Bob? All right. Coach, I know you're anxious to get to school and do some um, PE stuff. Absolutely. All right. 105.5 FM and Jessup, Big Dog Country Radio. we got guests in the green room. We're going to talk about leadership Wayne in just a moment. Stay tuned. South Georgia Here's your WIFO forecast. 
Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms early, then more partly sunny. Showers and thunderstorms likely in the afternoon. Southwest breeze, upper 80s. Chance of showers and thunderstorms this evening, low in the low 70s. Tomorrow, chance of showers and thunderstorms early, then partly sunny. Showers and thunderstorms likely in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 80s. Georgia Chief Meteorologist John Weatherby in the Georgia 811 Weather Center. Contact 811 before you dig. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties since 1998. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the local nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our administrative office is located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard and Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak with someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia. Working to add life to your days. World famous Butch and Bob show right here on WIFO 105.5 FM in Jesse. We continue on with the world famous Butch and Bob show. Alan Volske and Aaron, Aaron Franks, Franks in this morning to talk about leadership, Wayne. Is that correct? Yes. That's right. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, Alan. So, uh, I'm counting them. One, two. You said 36 <laughs> words. 30, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, we, I'm not even going to try that because you know, we'll be at 36 words in the next 30 seconds. Go ahead. That's, That's right. right. So uh, we're we're excited to uh, announce our uh, uh, class for twenty two twenty three our leadership Wayne class, and uh, we've got ten great uh, participants and some uh, great shadows. Uh, if you like, I can go down the list of names. Yes, definitely want to find out who's going to be in leadership Wayne and the shadows. All right, That's we've right. got Amber Carter. She's an attorney. DJ Jones. He works with Ray Anir. Jana Collins, Wayne County Board of Education. Jonathan McCullough, he's with the Jessup Police Department. Lee Stevenson, he's with the Georgia DOT, and also he, uh, I believe he's the owner of Lee's Meats in Screven, and he's a Screven City Council person. Uh, Melissa Thomas is the, with Your Family Hospice. Pam Leggett was uh, with Interstate Credit Union. Renee Bolin is with Anchored Wellness, Anchored in Wellness. Uh, Steve Crane is with the Wayne County Sheriff's Office. And Tatiana Jacobs is with Hospice of South Georgia. Those are our uh, class members. We've got 10 good ones, and uh, we're excited to have them on board. And uh, we're having our orientation tonight at 6 o'clock at the chamber. And uh, we're going to learn a little bit about them and begin this process of learning and uh, leading. Okay. Our shadows are uh, Sherna Spearman Lott. And what shadows do before you go into it? Let's tell us okay, so, what shadows uh, do. Uh, me and Aaron are the co-chairs, and okay. we're kind of leading the, the group and making sure everything's working right. And the shadows are going to be next year's class uh, co-chairs, and their job is kind of uh, – Keep an eye on things and make sure that... So they're going to see how y'all do it so they can coach the team next year, right? That's right. All right, so who are they again? Uh, Sherna Spearman-Lott. She's with the Wayne County Board of Education. And Chris Hamilton is with Jessup Police Department. So uh, it's good that we have three police officers in the the group. Uh, We should feel very safe. We should feel very Very safe, safe, yeah. Very safe. We're excited about that. And... uh, Erin, do you want to tell them about our calendar of events? Sure. So we um, have the calendar of events for the whole year. Uh, tonight we're having orientation. So they'll get um, like their shirt and all that kind of good stuff and get uh, to know each other a little bit. And then in September we'll have a bonding retreat and we'll also have a history day. And then October we have an agriculture day. We usually hit uh, all the farms in Wayne County, kind of go around and, and see what's going on. Um, November is local government day, and usually we'll see the court house we'll go to the police station or the sheriff's office um we have business and industry day in december um january we'll go to the state capitol it's state government and economic development day and we'll also go to the what is that building called over in uh the varsity 
Well, yeah, but I meant the Other economic. The that, that's what he's worried about is yeah, eating. Going to the bar, so yeah, right. that is good. That is usually on the events also that day. Um, we have in February the Education Day, Health Care Day in March, and Georgia Ports Day in April. And then in May we'll have Natural Resources Day. And then lastly we'll have a vision retreat, and they'll graduate in June. Good. you got uh, some future leaders here. With already Many of them are already leaders here in Wayne County, but That's just right. getting some experience there going through Leadership Wayne to help improve uh, their knowledge of uh, what's going on here in Wayne County and the state uh, with the different uh, things that you all be doing each month. And, you know, some people might not know this, but at, at the end of each um, year, these people come together at their vision retreat, and they come together with a goal or a mission or some kind of project that they complete um, you know, there's not a set time of when this project is completed, but they do, you know, my class is still working on projects and we still talk continuously. Wow. So. Okay. Now, sometime during the year, uh, is it toward the end of it, the class will pick what future, uh, you know, they continue on with some sort of project? Yeah, it depends on the group, but usually, um, with the vision retreat, that's when they all come together and they decide definitely what kind of project that they want to, to go with. Okay. Well, it sounds good. Mm-hmm. All right, got it all done. Everybody, all the applications in the tick, the yeah. ten uh, leaders uh, picked, and now you got things beginning That's tonight. Right. Now the tonight orientation begins. That's right. So we'd like to thank our day chairs. Our day chairs are the ones that basically uh, facilitate the days, uh, the events, and activities. Uh, our day chairs are John Benner, Janet Royal, Mark Fry, Nick Ellis. Kelly Shanklin and Dell Keith, uh, Joy Me- uh, Birch Meeks and Stephen Meeks, Lonnie Roberts, R- uh, Reggie Burgess, Greg Jones, Shauna Mattingly, and Doug Lewis. Those are the folks that facilitate our events each month during the uh, year, and we really uh, want to thank them for their support and their leadership as well. I would be remiss if I did not mention that uh, Dina. Uh, and uh, care at the chamber are absolutely vital to this process being a success. Absolutely. They uh, they work behind the scenes very vigorously, and uh, we couldn't do it without them. So I thank them for their time and their efforts. Yeah, a lot of folks go into putting Leadership Wayne on each year. It's, it's a big a lot, deal. A lot, a lot of folks. But yes. it's, it's a valuable, it's a valuable it uh, program. And, and I tell you, uh, I went back uh, in 2018, and you just learned so much about the, the county. And about the businesses and the folks in this uh, region of the state, and it's 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 very important, okay. very important. All right. Yep. Sounds good. Yep. We also want to thank our sponsors. These are the people who actually um, help us with um, financing some of this. And so we have, um, of course, the Chamber and the Industrial Development Authority, Georgia Power, Rainier, Oakwind and Associates, Seven Rivers RC and D Council, and Harper Industries. So those folks help. You know, with the finances, a lot yes. of Yes. I mean, you know, we have food and mm-hmm. travel, travel, travel costs, things like that. Right. Some lodging. Right. So, yeah. Okay. And the underlying purpose, uh, vision purpose for Leadership Wayne is what? Well, I think it helps build leaders within the community, and um, but it also is to better Wayne County. I mean, each project is supposed to have um, some kind of impact within Wayne County to make it better. And so we as a team, you know, inch by inch can make Wayne County a better place. Okay. And and you think about the fact that uh, if you don't know about Wayne County's agriculture or their or their uh, natural resources things that I mean we have one of the greatest natural resources in the state and probably in the in the southeast and that's the Altamaha River. If you don't know anything about it, uh, you don't know that. But mm-hmm. it's it's a it's a wonderful resource. It's vital to the the coast, and there's so many things to know about the the river that if you don't know about it, then then uh, you know you're you're uh, not able to make as good a decisions uh regarding this area and so uh putting these folks out there and, and helping them to uh, see what what's going on in wayne county not just up and down main street or first street uh but out there in the, in the other parts and in the, the region mm-hmm. it's vital to their uh being able to lead uh future generations things like right. that see all you know go to visit all the government agencies here in town in wayne That's county right. and then it's always interesting when they go to atlanta 
uh, in January and watch what goes under the gold dome there. It's um, it's a really amazing event for them to. We've heard experiences from folks. I didn't know they did all this up here. So, well, you so know what's learned. amazing is how well received uh, folks from Wayne County are at the Capitol. Oh yes, they are. They are absolutely uh, impressed by the the uh, folks in Wayne County because we we are active and we're we're participating in the process and we ask questions and we challenge them and and ask them to. Uh, Remember what's going on down here, and they, and they do because we're involved. Okay, and sounds good. Yep, it's good stuff. Great program, been going on for years now, and uh, it's good that uh, it continues on through the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce leadership. Wayne, that's right. Anything else, Alan or Aaron? <laughs> no, just ready for football season. See what's going to happen. Woo-hoo, go Jackets! That's right. <laughs> and we'll find out Friday week, won't we? That's right. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff, right there. All right. So, how's things in the power business? They're they're uh, rolling right along. Yeah. Rolling right along. Yeah. Uh, just remember, use all you want. We'll make more. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the messages that we get from Georgia Power. It's conserve. Here's what you can do to save money and stuff like that. Alan's out there. Use more. And the corporation, at least from a public relations standpoint, is saying, "Here's how you can serve. Here's how you can save money by not using as much electricity." Well, okay, that too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. One thing, good thing about Georgia through Georgia Power and the uh, and the uh, and the uh, REMCs, uh, the, the co-ops, is the fact that we do have plenty of power in the state of Georgia. Unlike Texas, right now, where their temperatures over a hundred. I mean, they're they're maxing out there. That's right. And so we're, we're we're fortunate here in the state of Georgia to have lots of power and at affordable prices compared to other states. That's, that's right. right. Absolutely, we've got a lot of good people working out there. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. On on uh, in every front, Georgia's doing great. Yep. And Erin, what's going on in your life? Anything? Well, I'm at the Board of Education, and so we're just cranking up with school. This is what day five at the school system, so we're rocking along, going so, along smoothly, getting things done. Getting we're, things we're, yeah, running. we're getting it done. Um, we're trying to help James E. Bacon as best as we can right now, just trying to get them operations smoothly trying to work it all out but i think it's going great the kids are excited and happy they might be a little bit sleepy it's you know day five the <laughs> the routine's starting to kind of set in but uh it's going good yeah. okay good and uh, so leadership wayne begins with the orientation tonight and y- will y'all be at all these events during the course of the year or do you turn it over to the project well i could say managers the ones who handle each event no we'll be at each one you'll be at each one along with the shadows yes yep. all year long all year. Yeah. Well, that's good great. Good times. Good times. Okay. It goes by really fast. Yeah, well, it does. Yeah. It it's does. crazy, isn't that, how the older you get, the faster things go? It sure is. It's not, right. not, not, not That's not a good thing. I wish you'd slow down a little bit. Okay. I know exactly how you feel. All right, Bob, any questions or comments for our folks from Leadership Wayne here this morning? Nothing at all? He's sleeping from the donuts. It's a talk show. <laughs> He's sleepy from his donuts. Yeah, you don't sit there and just shake your head back and forth. Come on. Come up with a question or comment. <laughs> Those out there in Radio Land, he's shaking his head no. <laughs> that he has no questions. All right, Aaron, Alan, good luck with this this year. Thank you. And forward to we it. look forward to hearing reports on how it's going during the course of the year, okay? Perfect. Absolutely. All Thank right, you. keep us Thank updated. You. All right, 105.5 FM, Jess at Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO. More of the world-famous Butch and Bob show in just a minute. Take a step forward in the right direction with a new career. Contact us here at Jessup Broadcasting about our current openings for account executives, full-time or part-time. You will be trained to offer local businesses effective radio and digital advertising and marketing solutions. You will earn salary plus commission. Call or text to set up an interview at 912-427-3711. 912-427-3711. Call weekdays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and ask for Mr. Hubbard. Text us anytime. You can also send resumes to cwhubbard at bellsouth.net. cwhubbard at bellsouth.net. Begin a new and rewarding career with WIFO and WLOP Radio. Jessup Broadcasting, an equal opportunity employer. We look forward to hearing from you. 105.5 FM and Jessup, Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO. As we continue on with the world-famous Butch and Bob show right here on WIFO. Anything on your mind this morning, Bob? Just want to remind people about the Touchdown Club barbecue kickoff. They'll be on hand tomorrow for the Butch and Bob show. Talk about the big event tomorrow night. High School Commons area, Connor Shaw. 
brother, Coach J. Bo Shaw, will be the guest speaker. It should be fun. So looking forward to that event tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Barbecue kickoff at the high school commons area. Tickets are $10 available at the event. So and everyone's invited to Everyone's invited. Everyone's yeah. invited to the so introduce, introduce the players, have a good barbecue kickoff, and hear from Connor Shaw. So it should be fun mm. to hear what he's got to say. Yeah, got a great athlete coming in, Coach Shaw's brother, Connor Shaw, a great quarterback there in college and high school, and he'll be the uh, guest speaker, get some good old barbecue, meet the players and coaches, and just a good time to be able to kick off the season, which begins you know one week from tomorrow. Eight days away. Be cranking it up. Cranking it up. Better whip it on Bradwell and get the season on the way. So be fun. That's right. On the road, first game up there at Bradwell in Hinesville. And so um, and we're just looking forward to it. And then, of course, you got the you know college season kicking in. Pro regular season will begin in September. They got um, you know the, the pre games going on right now in a sense the, uh, for um, for this month. And then all regular begins in September for for the uh, for the pros. And uh, anything else going on in Jessup or Wayne County that um, folks need to know about, Bob? Not that I know of. Not a thing, huh? Not a thing. thing. Bob's over here eyeing his uh, donut holes that uh, Coach Hobbs brought in, so I'll let him get back to his donut holes. (laughs) Not not much going on. I said football. That's about it. School's in session. That's it. There must not be any big court cases going on right now here in Wayne County because we, you know, you haven't been to a trial or reported on any big court case here in Wayne County in the Superior Court in quite a while, have you? Been a while. It's been a while. I guess they're getting everything put together. You know, you know that you know the the court system has to be way behind because you know the the uh, the crimes did not take a break during COVID. You know, so the cases have got to be stacking stacking up. Wouldn't you think? You would think. But- I said, just like get a press release from the police department, sheriff's department once in a while. I haven't seen one of those in three months. So. All's quiet on the front, yeah, huh? Yes. All yeah. quiet's on the front out there. Okay. Everything's mm-hmm. going smooth and easy here yeah, in Wayne is. County. Must be no crime. Just smooth and easy. <laughs> All right, Bob, have a good day. All right, the world-famous Butch and Bob Show brought to you by O'Quinnan Associates, by Murphy Butter Supply, by Vans Barbecue, and by First Southern Bank.